Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to Computer Hobbyists. I have my HP Pavilion gaming laptop here. It's a 15Z EC200. It's a custom built laptop. We'll unbox it and then we'll talk about the machine. All right, here's, here's the machine and the power supply and the power cord. It's well packaged. It looks like it could survive being dropped, no problem, so that's good. And it's in a plastic bag, so if the truck that's delivering it gets a leak, your computer won't be destroyed. All right, so this computer, let's go over the stats. There's no CD or DVD, as you probably guessed. It's got, I upgraded the memory, or, or the, excuse me, the hard disk space, so it's got 512 gigs uh, SSD. It's got a full-size keyboard. Notice the WAS and D are highlighted since those are often used in games. Apparently it comes with some security software trial. Color is acid green, as you see. Uh, I upgraded the memory to 16 gigabytes of SD RAM. And it's got a Realtek Wi-Fi 2x2 and Bluetooth 5.2 combo. The operating system is a Windows 11 Home 64 Plus. And it's got an HP TrueVision 720 pixel HD camera with a integrated dual array digital microphone. And the battery is a 3-cell 52.5 uh, lithium-ion prismatic battery. And the processor, which is what you're wondering, is an AMD Ryzen 4.2 gigahertz with a 16 megabyte L3 cache and six cores. And then the GPU is an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 with four gigabytes of memory. And the screen is a pretty decent screen. It's a 15.6 inch diagonal full high definition 1920, which means 1920 by 1080 screen, 144 hertz refresh rate, IPS, uh, micro edge anti glare, 250 nits. So the monitor's not bad at all. All right, we're starting it up here. All right, always good when you get a new computer that's starting. <laughs> United States, yes, that is the correct region. U.S., yep. Second keyboard, not at this time. All right, I entered the Wi-Fi password, and it's hooked up to Wi-Fi. Checking for updates now. All right, looks like it's going to have to do a restart after getting these updates. All right, Windows Operating System Software Agreement. Add my Microsoft account? No, I will not. All right, it looks like you have to add it, which is unfortunate here. Right, now it's asking add. you to create a pin. I'll create that. All right, they don't need that my diagnostic data. I'm going to turn all this stuff off. I can turn it on later. We'll find my device. I may leave that on in case I can't find a damn computer, but so I'm typing diagnostic data to Microsoft. No, F you Microsoft. No, I'm not letting them use that. Apps can use advertising ID to provide more personalized advertisement. No. So let's see, the only thing that I left is yes, is find my device, and I may remove that later. I'll have to decide if I want that or not. I will skip that. That's none of their business. Yeah, OneDrive, uh, free for the first five gigabytes. 
so five gigabytes I mean it's gonna fill up as soon as I, I tell it to back up there so I, I'm just gonna back up things on my own without that I do use OneDrive, but like five gigs I mean if I try to back up this computer uh, each within two days I'm gonna run out of the five gigabytes with all the stuff I plan on installing on here so Try premium office apps for free with Microsoft 365. No, I will not. I've moved away from Microsoft Office. Register. I guess so. They already got my email address, so I'm not giving them anything they don't already have. HP may use information enable my PC to show HP contact and warranty information and important support messages. Hold on. No, you may not for that for one. I can turn that on later. I don't need that turned on right now. All right, looks like it's installing Windows 11, which we we're supposed to do at the factory, so uh, that, that's disappointing. Looks like uh, they probably put Windows 10 on it, and now I have to install Windows 11 myself. Well, this is installing the operating system, which is taking forever. Um, let me talk about why I got this machine. Those of you who know me know that I generally use Macs at home. At work, I use Windows. So you're probably saying, well, what would you buy a Windows laptop for? Well, there's two reasons for it. The first reason is because I create my own video games and I use Mono Game. And Mono Game works great on the Macintosh uh, with Visual Studio for Mac for 2D stuff. But however, the 3D stuff does not currently work on the Visual Studio for Mac. So any 3D work I want to do, I'm going to do on this laptop. The second reason is Parallels for Macintosh is not 100% compatible with uh, Windows apps. So if you go to Steam and you buy like a game that you want for it, it may not work on your, your Mac with Parallels. So that's a problem. It's not 100% compatible. So I'm going to use this for games that I can't uh, use on my Mac. As far as like old vintage DOS games and stuff, those run on my Mac just fine with DOSBox. So this will be more for like current games and stuff. Also, I needed it for uh, my business too. Just needed a portable computer. I was using a Microsoft Surface, which broke, uh, which kind of uh, is irritating because it was only like four years old. Of course, it's out of warranty and, and those things... To fix them is a, a lot of money because you got to use a heat gun to remove the glass and stuff. And uh, if you bring it to a place to fix it, they're going to charge you for even a minor repair on a Microsoft Surface uh, around $300 to $350. Uh, so it, it's not worth fixing. But after that, I'll never buy a Microsoft Surface again. I mean, uh, just to change a battery in it out here, would, uh, a place would charge you $300 for it, so that's ridiculous. <laughs> This one here, this should have a user accessible battery. Yeah, it lo looks like it does. That's good. All right, now we see some kind of welcome screen. Let me log in uh, real quick. Getting things ready for you because the half hour we've been wor uh, with this wasn't enough. This might take a few minutes. I'm not surprised. I'm really spoiled from using Macs because uh, Mac set up, the Mac would already been set up. I mean, to set up a new Mac takes about five minutes, generally. Here's the speakers here. We'll try out the sound on here. Hopefully it sounds good. I'm hoping I don't have to use headphones with it. I use headphones with my Mac because I'm using a Mac Mini and the speaker uh, built into the headphones and built into my uh, two monitors is not very good. So I use the headphones to get good sound. I'm hoping with this it's got good enough sound on its own since it's a gaming laptop where I don't have to bother with headphones. Looks like uh, everything's installed here, so let's try installing our mouse. Got a, it included a free mouse. The mouse came about a month ago, because I ordered this about a month ago, and it took a while to build it in China and send it in. But I've used this mouse on my uh, work laptop. It's worked fine. Going, it, it actually works really well. My only problem with it is it has this stupid thing, uh, this re uh, transmitter receiver, so it does, doesn't use standard Bluetooth. I don't think you have to have this plugged in in order to use it, so let's plug it in. All right, let's turn on the mouse here. 
Yeah, it's working right away. Okay, that's good. So yeah, it's a, it's a good mouse. It's got a mouse wheel on it and stuff. It's not as good as my Magic Mouse for uh, my Mac, but this was a free mouse. But yeah, like I said, the only thing I don't like is you have to have this connected at all times. Other than that, it's good. Alright, so I'm going to jump on Steam and download a game and we'll see how the game looks and how it sounds on here. Alright, I got Portal 2 installed on here. reason I ins installed Portal 2, which is actually kind of an old game, is because the Macintosh version of this on Steam is not compatible with M1 uh, Max or M1 Pro or M1 Max Max. So I got to play it on Windows. So let's just play the single player game. So far the sound seems pretty decent. Certainly better than the spe uh, single speaker on the Mac Mini or my monitor speakers that I use on my other computer. So, alright, let's click there. Screen's nice and clear. It should be because uh, it's a nice monitor. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. There is a framed... This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, Stare at the arm. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Any test of Are you back? Ah, oh, God, God. You look um, good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? Are you... Don't answer that. I'm actually sure you're fine. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although, if you, do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You're still holding on? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation centre stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge. All right, so I'm impressed. Uh, like I said, the installation took too long, but other than that, and other than the fact that you have to have a Microsoft account, uh, which kind of irritated me, but the computer itself is working good. The monitor looks good. The sound is, is some really good for a laptop computer. Not bad at all. Could use a little bit more bass, but it, it's very clear. The animation looks pretty smooth on the computer too, so I'm very happy with this so far. I'm going to use this for about a month and then I'll do a formal review of it. Thanks for watching guys and have a good evening.